number 34 involves uh, simplifying a complex fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the problem, but instead of using the negative exponents, I'm going to write them as fractions. And that's what you should always do in these problems. So the numerator is x minus 1 over x. That's what x to the negative 1 power is. And on the denominator, we have x squared plus 1 over x. So in order to simplify this, we have to get a common denominator for both the numerator and the denominator. And since only one of these in each uh, section is a fraction, we only need to get the common denominator for the first term in each. Since we already have a denominator of x here, we just need to make a denominator of x everywhere else. Another way you can think about it, which is probably a little bit simpler, is that we just need to multiply the top and bottom by x. As long as you multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same thing, you're not changing it. And if we multiply through by x, we'll get rid of these denominators. So that's exactly what we want. So when we multiply the top through by x, we get x squared minus 1. And when we multiply the bottom through by x, we get x cubed plus 1. Okay, so this has simplified things quite a bit for us. But we're not done yet because both of these are factorable. So x squared minus 1 becomes x minus 1, x plus 1 when we factor it out. It's the difference of two squares. And our other term, which is x cubed plus 1, we can use the sum of two cubes formula. So that gives us x plus 1 times. So remember that if you have x cubed plus y cubed, your expansion for that is x plus y x squared minus xy plus y squared. So we just need to apply that here where our x is x and our y is 1. So we have x plus 1, we have x squared minus x plus 1. And you can see we can actually factor out one more thing here because x plus 1 cancels out. So remember that when you, when you factor the sum or difference of two cubes, the quadratic that's left is never factorable, so don't worry about that. So this is as far as we can go, and that's fully simplified, so that gives us then answer choice C.